guys? Welcome back to BeamNG.Drive. This is George, and I've had a couple of people was asking me about one of the mods I posted. It was, uh, actually the thumbnail was not the picture of the truck I actually tried out. It was like a extended cab version. It had a trailer and everything, but I didn't have the picture of the previous truck, which I didn't save, so I couldn't get a picture unless it was in the video, and it just wouldn't come out as a good thumbnail. So I had a couple people ask me, oh, you know, where did you get that truck or, you know, how did you lift it or whatever. Okay, first thing is, you got to go to, like, download mods. You got to download a couple different mods for the pickup. Um, just go in there and look around because I do have several and I don't actually know what mods all I use every time. So I always look for like the accessories and stuff. I know we got one mod where it actually adds like a 5 inch lift to the truck. We will be using that today. But right now when you spawn in the game, if you don't touch anything, you get just a plain, was it, I think it's called a gravel or what, it's like the, what, the 15 series or something. The base model, it's crap, it's low, it's slow, it's underpowered and everything. So watch this. It, it won't even really spin or anything like that and it's just it's slow and it sucks like watch put it in reverse and it's barely doing it neutral drop it nothing so I'm like let's do something let's make we're gonna make this the ultimate tow rig lifted dually diesel that's what we're doing so let's go ahead and Go to our settings. First thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and lift it. We want to get the body style we want. So we are at a standard frame. Right now we want a, let's see, heavy duty extended frame with 5 inch lift. We're going to get, it's going to be a big truck. Alright, so we do have it lifted with the dually tires, but what the heck's going on here? Let's fix this. Go to your little drop down bar. We got the extended muffler. Let's see, we want to go to body. Okay, regular cab, we want the extended cab. Much better, so we got the extended cab. Okay, so let's start with the front. Let's start with the bumper and everything, because we want to, we're going to build it up. So the front bumper. Let's see, what do we want to do? I think we should like an off-road bumper. Let's do like an off-road style lifted pull truck. We got the off-road bumper. Look at that. That always makes a world difference just right there. So let's get to the front suspension. Right now, we're two-wheel drive. I think we're two, we might be four-wheel drive, but it's a wimpy four-wheel drive. So we're independent front suspension. Let's go to a solid axle because we are going to be pulling solid that. And we won't have a lot of body roll either. The front shocks, we want heavy duty. As you see, it does lift it up a little bit. Front leafs, heavy duty, off road. I think, see, is the, I think this one actually lifts it up. Okay, we're going to do the lifted leafs in the front because we don't have too, too much. Now we can do. The quick off-road steering, I don't want that because it is just we're pulling the crap out of stuff. Let's see, the front wheel hubs. What should we do? I'm thinking we'll do a dually truck just because I like how dualies do. Let's get to the eight, eight lug. Alright, so we got the dually. Now the tires just, they look too small to me. I don't think we're going to do that. Let's, if we're building something, let's build a monster. It looks a little better, but I don't like the rims. So what kind of rims we got? We actually have a bunch of different rims. I'm trying to think of what would be good. You just have to click on most of them. I do want like some 19s. I like those. Let's go ahead and drop down. Wet 33s. We want some 35s. That makes a world difference just right there. I really do want a dually though, and we can't run a dually. Let's just go to eight lug. 
You know how to change the wheels now. But I really wanted to run dualies in the back, so that's what we're going to do. All right, so let's get to the rear suspension. This is the fun part. It's what we're going to. We are doing the heavy duty. We got the open diff. I want the welded diff. We'll just get this. Rear shocks, we want super heavy duty. Rear leaves, we want super heavy duty. If you don't want to see the pattern, we're kind of super heavy duty right now. So, the rear brakes, you can do heavy duty. You have, let's go full race because I feel like they're, they stop you better. And of course, we're going to run the same kind of wheels and everything that we already got now. Let's see, we can go with the bed. We are running a short bed. Let's see. We need bed accessories. Fender flares, that's what we want. We can do the off road, but we're going to do dually. Oh, yeah. I just wish these tires were a little bit bigger. Like I wish we could get semi tires. That'd be a whole lot better. Let's see, what else are we doing? Tailgate. Uh, we're not going to run a tailgate because we're going to put a fifth wheel on the back. No tailgate. Bed accessory. Gooseneck tow hitch. There we go. We can put a gooseneck on it right now, but we're not. Let's see. We need to do the rear bumper, which I think we'll do like the off road style. We can do a roll pan, but we are going to be pulling stuff. This is basically a puller truck, so I think we're going to do the, the off-road bumper on the back, too. That's just, that just looks beefy. All right, so we've done all this. Let's see, we do have to, we have two tow hitches on it. Now, we got to do something with the engine. We can do the, we do like a 5.5. Now you have supercharger stages you can do also, but we're going to do the 6.7 24 valve Cummins turbo diesel because you can edit so much on it. All right, so we do have a diesel in here. So we have a chance to do the air intake, the camshaft, the exhaust, intercoolers, exhaust manifold, fuel pump, pistons, turbocharger. First thing, we'll change the turbo to 88 millimeter. We'll use the edge because it seems like I think that's got the most power. All right, transmission. We'll use a chipped 68 RFE. I think. Yeah, we'll use that. We could change it if when we get pulling, we could do it manual. Let's see. Let's use. I don't really know a lot about diesels. I've never really worked on one, so I don't know a lot of these names. We'll just start putting stuff. As long as we change it from OEM, it will have more power. We're going with Banks Water, uh, Water and Methanol Injection System. It's just going to be pretty powerful. Exhaust Manifold. Let's see. Use the BD Power. It's got power in its name, so it's got to be powerful. <laughs> Intercooler. Sinister Diesel, just because it sounds badass. Let's see, we got 300. Let's do, let's do Empire. Now, if there's a bunch of diesel guys out here watching this, you're like, oh my god, he should have choose the other one's better. I'm sorry, I do not know which is the best to choose for these. They're probably, I'm running down my truck. He's 
get the crappy version. I figure as long as it don't say OEM, we'll be all right right now. Now, when I do buy a diesel, I'll know what to buy for it. Because I will get me one, hopefully in a year or two. Oh, I should went. I'll go with Sinister Diesel because I went with that a couple times. Stage three. All right, our engine is fully built. All right, so it's time to paint it. I think we should do a red. I think red is just real pretty. Let's turn the chrome effect off so we get like a real dull red. Now we can make it a little shinier. I think that's pretty good. Now of course we wanted like a pulling truck. So this thing is, you know, it's it's lifted but it's going to be a monster, hopefully. Hopefully. If this thing was two wheel drive, it would should burn them. Oh yeah, we got a lot more power. Well, we had and we're rolling coal, so we're we're doing good there. We're good in the power section. Oh yeah, we got plenty of power. <clears throat> so let's start critiquing some of the actual truck bed things, like the lights. Let's do some cab lights and everything like that. We're building this truck how we want it. Let's see. We want to get a body. And then body. Then it opens up a lot of stuff for us. Um, the front. Let's see. We do. What's this one? Oh, yeah. I like the chrome. I think that looks good. Let's see, the radiator, let's do high performance because we're high performance. Fender lettering, 35, of course. All right, we got the fender lettering, light bar, I think, I don't want a light bar. I do want a, or manual running boards. I don't want to do running boards, make it look lower. I want cab lights. What's riff rack? No. Riff lights, no. I want cab lights. What this is? No. Riff lights. Yeah, that's what I wanted. We got cab lights now. Uh, black interior spine. The trim. Yeah, we don't need no trim. See if it takes it all the way off. Oh, yeah. I like it better without trim. We are riding low kind of in the front, so hopefully we can set that up some. Um, let's do the hood. Uh, we can do, let's do a bug shield. Perfect. 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 Now, steering wheel, I just noticed we don't have one in there. Do a this one to work. Steering wheel, if you can see it, it's a racing steering wheel, which I don't think it's. It might be in the right position. I never drive inside, so I'm not worried about that. All right, let's see anything else that we want. I actually think that's pretty good. Oh yes. Heavy duty trucks gotta have a tow mirror. Of course. <laughs> All right, so that is done. I think we are actually done. We're done with the truck that we want to build right now. Now for tuning. I don't think we can lift the front up, so we just gotta leave it the way it is. Alright guys, so this is the air truck that we built. I mean, it's got all the power we need.
and it rolls cold. It's a cool thing. <laughs> oh yeah. It's going to be a powered champion. Alright now, I was going to do this video but I didn't want to make it too long. So if you want to see this truck pull, and I'm really wanting to hook it up to like one of the semi trailers and you know like the flatbed and load down see what we can pull up some of these not the desert dirt roads but on the actual paved roads they got some steep hills let's see if we can actually get this thing to pull or will it be a bust and just break down so make sure you punch that subscribe button this is george and i'm out of here